Oh yeah. yeah, Casper's gonna be a dad. Is that true? Yeah, you're gonna be an uncle. Oh. For take. <laughs> Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Yeah. And it's me, Luka, yes. up with Chris Yeah, days. yeah. It's in your pro. Thank you, sir. It's birthday today. Oh, I didn't expect that today. Maybe the second time. Music has a supporter. I think we did this this time last year. Mm. Oh, okay. yes. sure we did. Yeah, yeah we did. And okay. it was the same song. Yeah. But it's a dope song nonetheless. Yeah. Clearly, it's Maxi's favorite song then. From Piero? Yeah. Ah, there's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah. yeah every song is, his, is is your favorite. But I think this one embodies him the most. Utining or pro? Pro levels. This is from which uh, which album? Like the the, the 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 titles confuse me. I know there was Heads and Tails. Uh, yo, yeah, I remember Heads and Tails. And As you can see, we're we detoxing today. <laughs> <laughs> ah, speak for yourself. <laughs> it's just midweek. We prefer coffee. <laughs> We've grown. Uh, it's a Monday. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, and I'm Armini, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to it. We are back. Podcasting chill. I am here. Lemoleko is here. Ghost Lady is here. Tamang is here. Who am I missing? Is everybody's here. Is here. Yeah, the, the swimming pool is here. Yeah. Graduate oh. is, yeah. oh. is here. Everybody is here. You are here. <laughs> and we love welcome, you for that. Welcome, welcome. Uh, where do you guys want to start, man? Wait, geez, so much has happened since I last saw you guys. Really? Yeah. Like? What has happened? Uh, like Kanye Bao trending for two <laughs> days you in know, a row. Us making 40K. <laughs> <laughs> And above <laughs> In followers Not mine <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Oh we need to yeah. Yo, yo. yeah in followers yes. Yeah in, 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 Jeez man I've never seen anything like that Welcome actually Welcome to everybody Who has just joined The yes. Chiller Street yeah. Yeah. Welcome 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 uh, All 7,000 of you It's a bumpy <laughs> ride But hey Bumpy Very good bumpy yeah. I've never I think the last time I saw numbers that crazy Was DJ Zintle But even then We didn't understand No yeah. but I think With DJ Zintle We were on 500 so we went you, to like <laughs> one thousand. We were like, 1, we're twenty thousand. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just gradually grew. Gr- and, yeah, step but, by but, step. But 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 so DJ Zintler's moved. I remember my band. I was complaining that ah, we've been on thirty six thousand, bro. Yeah, dude, but oh, we had been, bro. That episode dropped. We're even oh. thinking of uh, doing fellatios and all those things. What are we? What? <laughs> Uh, fellatios No, no, no The one where you eat Mukbang Oh, mukbang Can yes. you just say fellatio? Oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Who were gonna that deep Gonna go that deep Okay, who was gonna well, demonstrate? <laughs> who was gonna go that deep? <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who can take it in that deep? <laughs> hey, the mukbang The mukbang Yes Body story time mm. eh. Like yeah, I, we tried I, one last week. We failed. Because yeah, I was like, what are we doing wrong? Yeah. We've been on 36,000 for like 10 years. So, yo. Kandi, all he needed was Kanyimbao. You know? <laughs> and then wanted to do a makeup, you know? Tutorial. Tutorial. Yes, you know? How, uh, Next thing, our numbers are like up there. Like, pew, 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 pew. Let okay. me see. Uh, so it's now the road to 50. Let me see what numbers she's on now. But I've never seen anything last like Last I this. checked, it was 56,000. Oh, no, she's over 80. No, that's part two. So part two right now is 51,000. Part one is 93,000. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's in, in less than a week. Yeah. In less than a week. Zintle, 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 those, Zintle's numbers, she's going to kill Zintle's numbers. Can you bow? Yeah, I think course, so. I on think this rate, so. yeah. Because yeah. Zintle's on 250. Yeah. In two years. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, that's a growth rate of 100,000 <laughs> exactly. plus a year. Yeah. So that in itself is... In a, a week. That's, that's a good growth. But like, it's... Also, the quality wasn't the same. Cell phone versus Tabang, you know. Yeah. Did funny you say that? You know how many celebrities called me uh, to shit on me after the Kanyimbao uh, 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 interview? Because of? No, no, no not even because of that. It was like, Why? Hey, hey, you should have moved the mic here. Hey, you should have done this. You should have used that. You should have done that. And this whole time I'm listening. I'm, mm. I'm like, all right, cool. If you're so fucking good, why don't you fucking shoot it? Do your own fucking episode. Let's see how many views you're going to get. <laughs> These fucking people. Who was that? So I, many. So I don't want to. I don't want to give out names, but so many people called me last week. Wow. To tell me shit about that episode, and in my head, I'm like, where were you when we had hundred views? 
shooting a cell phone. Yeah, shooting with the iPad. With why, iPad. why weren't you calling then? Eh? Yes. Just now because the, the the podcast is popping. Now everybody has a, something they want to say. Has an like an idea of yeah. how, what to do to improve. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It was crazy. Maybe they must come shoot the next one. Maybe they'll we'll see that. I don't know. Start yeah. your own. Start your own fucking podcast. They Let's can call Kanye Kanye Bao then and yeah. have their own interview. Yeah. And I spoke to her. She told me that uh, so many people called her after the interview. Okay. Saying, "Yo, why didn't you do it with us? This is what we're looking for." <laughs> <laughs> well, why didn't they ask? <laughs> and, and, and you know what the problem oh, is? Oh shame. Uh, no, and 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 not our shame. Yeah. Right. It's. If you're looking for certain things, you there's ask. a certain way to approach them. Yeah. And okay, even if she had to give the interviews, th- that's fine. But there's an aw- there's a way that you approach an interview. Mm. There's a way that you make your guest comfortable. Mm. There's a way that you you don't just from the onset like yeah, can you? Oh, there's 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 interviewing is a skill. Yeah. Not you can't just wake up from your luscious bed and think you're gonna interview somebody and get out of them what you think you're gonna get. Because mm. a lot of people just literally ask for PR answers. Yeah. Hence, he was so not angry, but he was disappointed in inverted commas with the Ricky Rick interview mm-hmm. and Kelly Kumalo interview. Mm-hmm. Because, yes, the approach was there, but those people were guarded. Better word, they were guarded. Yeah. And that's why they didn't give him what he was hoping to get. Mm. And that's simply that's what it is. In fact, what I'd like to even know, have you been approached by any presenters asking for advice on how you do your stuff? Nah, not even. Is it? No, nah, no. Nah. Then they mustn't complain if they don't get the answers that they get. <sighs> <laughs> like, it's, it's, yeah. it's a case of, you can't compare. Uh, maybe, maybe you need to do a webinar. Not just a podcast, yeah, but a, a webinar. And how to interview. <laughs> Look, yeah, because she said, she said she hardly does any interviews and she only did that one because of me and because of the style in which we do the show like it's very chilled mm. my these celebs like they want us to shoot like we're shooting top billing how <laughs> <laughs> top billing here yeah. look on the, on the interview, and to be honest with you like she came chilled like, our chillers don't give a fuck what it looks like thank you if it looks good it's a bonus yeah they're just here for the content yeah. we could be shooting in the toilet there was an episode two weeks ago where it started getting dark <laughs> <laughs> No, we've had all of our episodes. In fact, probably this one is going to end up dark, guys. You know what at I this mean? rate, yeah. They episode, don't give a fuck. They still yeah. watch. Because it's about five, the content. There was episode five that me and him recently watched. It was, we looking here, but the camera's coming from this side. And it, it was a mess. It was a mess. But yeah. people still fucks with it. Yeah. But uh, my advice to those people who are complaining and asking for, ah, but why didn't you, whatever. Look, in this game, just like in any other game, there's Aaron Mukwena. And there's Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. Pick which one you are. Yeah. Mm. I, I, I don't mind constructive criticism. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're a chiller, dude, you can shit on us all you want. Yeah. Because you've shown week. investment. You know, using your data. Yeah. You're subscribing to time. this thing. You're watching time as yeah. well. So you can tell us whatever you want. But not just because just you saw it trending on Twitter. Yeah, now you went there and watched. Now yeah. you think you've got too much to say. Exactly. Fuck no. Where the fuck have you been when we had 100 views? Nah, exactly. Power, you know what I mean? cards. <laughs> Never we've been through a lot. Eh? <laughs> missing cameras, <laughs> missing audio, tilting missing, camera. <laughs> like yo, and we're still learning, my yo, G. Yo, yo, yo. We we've been through best. a lot. Yeah. We've been through a lot, and 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 again, we appreciate. And sometimes I've doubled up as a cameraman as well. You know, mm. I'll be here in the back, just when Tabang's not here. That's yeah. what you do. Mm. You know, we're doing the best with what we can. Yeah, yeah you know, but I, I appreciate like you know like Euphonic, because he's like uh, for the reason you know why there's banners now. That's Euphonic. He was watching an interview I did with Caesar, and he was like, yo, how about you do one, two, three, and one, two, three? I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, that would be dope. You know, that, that makes sense. Oh. You understand? Yeah. He's saying we're shooting shit. Okay, give us cameras then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we can shoot. Oh, it was not bright enough. Yeah. Bring us lights. Yeah. guy yeah. Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll be on that standard. But if... if, if you're A whole not, drone, if you're if not thank adding, you. If you're not adding value to something... Yes, you can criticize, like, go on Twitter and bitch. That's fine. It's okay. Uh, that really... What you eat don't make a shit, but if you wanna add value, don't be condescending. Mm. Mm. I think it's oh, yeah the approach as well. Yes. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's simple as that. But I don't give a fuck unless it's our chillers. I don't give a fuck what anybody has to say. And the chillers loved it. Yeah, there are ninety three thousand of them. You know, <laughs> plus the other fifty. Do we add them together or is it? <laughs> how does it work? Ah, it's the same people. Yeah, okay. it's the same people. But anyway, yeah, man, what do you guys think of the taxi strike? 
I don't use taxis, so. Because nah. when I saw her, I'm like, I want to hear what Len thinks about this. Look. Oh, just break it down. You know what's happening with the taxi. Yeah, group. I know what's going on. Break well, it down. I was actually was having a chat with yes. Ghost Lady before you arrived. Yeah. So, I agree, you know, COVID-19 mm. happened. Mm-hmm. And taxis were functioning at either 50% or 70% capacity. So, no more for four It's like, you can only have like maybe seven or eight people in the taxi, obviously observing social distancing and whatnot. So, they cried that ish. We lost a lot of income mm. because of this. So, As did everybody else. Because government has been out there bailing everybody out and relief funds and whatever, we also want a relief fund. And government was like, okay, cool, sharp, we hear you. Here's a billion rand. Mm. They're like, ah, it's too little, we want five. Mm. (laughs) Mm. But what I don't understand is, what do they contribute to the economy? Hear me Mm. out. Yes, they do transport people to their jobs that fulfill their jobs, obviously, to contribute to the economy. 100%. I'm saying them as an industry in terms of being taxed, minus them buying taxis that were assembled by people. Those are knock-on effects, mm-hmm. right? The same way that they buy taxis, we buy cars. Okay. Mm. But see what today. <laughs> <laughs> as the banner goes out. <laughs> the banner goes out. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, we, we purchase vehicles, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Which are assembled by people, which we pour petrol the same way they pour petrol. Mm. So in terms of they buy a thousand taxis a month, we buy 30,000 cars a month. So the economic activity that they have in terms of that front, we do as well as normal civilians. True. To add to that, we pay tax. Mm-hmm. They don't. So why should they be given money as a relief fund? And... They, they should count themselves lucky that they were operational during lockdown because everybody else was out. Well, most people were out. Only emergency services were working. When was the taxi industry born and why? It was born, I would like to assume, I stand to be corrected, during apartheid, as soon as urbanization happened, whereby people had to be ferried from when townships were born. I get it, cities happened. And as a result of cities happening and tra- and stuff like that. So, like, it's 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 it's, it's when Houting or not Houting, so when Johannesburg, the gold rush happened, people flocked here to the mines, but they did not stay in town so that they could just simply walk there. They were not paid enough money to to purchase their so own. So, are you vehicle. are you saying that the taxi industry is probably what under a hundred years old? No, well, taxi, well. The ferrying, they've just evolved. So I the think ferrying I'm sure they've of been ways. yeah, the ferrying of people has always been there. I think it started with buses, mm-hmm. and then there was a way to when and the Toyotas of this world were probably like, oh, okay, we can actually have a mode of transport that can transport so many people, and instead of having one bus, and this is how we get into this and make it look cool and make it look sexy, mm-hmm. and maybe that's how taxis were born, and those started becoming a mode of transport for a lot of people who stayed in the township so that they go to the town. For and it wasn't, it wasn't the incompetence of the government at the time? B- not the incompetence of the government, per se. Maybe the apartheid government set it up that way because... Oh, they didn't give a fuck, no. Yeah, a, 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 a lot of what South Africa is right now is the design of apartheid, mm-hmm. where you put black people one side, very far from white people, and then you put white people here. Right, so then there were trains and there were buses, and then the taxi came into the fold. Mm. Right, so when that happened, black people were like, "Actually, like, let's get into this to this business." Because I don't think I stand to be corrected. I don't think white people were actually comfortable enough to be to be in the in the taxi space as like the owners. They just sold them to us, but they didn't own them. And then we own the taxis. Like, oh, okay, cool. We we kind of like the space. Like, let's own it. So my thing is, I'm saying, wasn't the taxi industry f- formed based on, like, black people making a plan? Which is why you, could argue, you can argue that, because there was a need to yeah. move from Soweto or Shawelo to Pacta. Yes. And trains maybe were not conducive at the time. And maybe somebody was like, where must you go? <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> carrying a <an> opkir <laughs> with a zebra print. No, 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 no. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me not fix. This. Let me not fix stereotypes. No, I kid. I kid. I kid. I kid. I kid. I kid. Drop that fucking thing of yours. Kid. And maybe somebody was like, "Yo, maybe we can fit so many people in there and take them there." Because I think cars at some point were used as taxis as well. Sure, of course. Yes. Uh, so yeah, they evolved, but it's. If you I'd like to think it started with buses. I think yes, buses, cars, buses were very popular, way, way. If you probably think now about hundred years back, and then it evolved. I don't know into about a hundred years, but very long ago. Yeah, very long ago. Years would be nine, 1910. Yeah, nineteen. No, twenty. Oh, nineteen twenty. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. So yes, it was. Uh, and if you look at it, it's the only industry. Well, that and soccer. The only industry that's predominantly more than 50% owned by black people. It's our, it's our shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Right? And they just became... Jeez, and they have power, these guys. Yeah. Mm. So How I think they shut a whole country down, dude? You had Because you're ferrying 16 million people. People sure. daily. daily. That's power. Yeah. Yes. That's power. I wish they could use that power to help us curb GVV. But anyway. Mm. Uh, mm. Then when the democratic South Africa government took over. Yeah. I think maybe sort of like putting laws into place and governing the taxi industry was probably like something that was not at the back of their mind and they just let them become a law unto themselves. And mm. they just carried on and carried on and carried on. Now we find ourselves where we are. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's a bit, it's, it's highly saturated, it's a highly saturated industry. Yes. There's a lot of and taxis. They know, and Hence they you know. get into taxi wars and stuff now. Yeah, and they know the power they wield, eh? Yeah. Mm. They, they, they know the power. Yeah. Look, you must know your industry is powerful if there's a whole TV show about what you do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, there's, there's, law, there's law series, there's, there's advertising series. Uh, 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 do you know the soccer series? That's how powerful taxis are. There's a whole... Text industry. There's there. a soapy. <laughs> soapy, what do I is by? Yeah. Mm. The first thing you see when the Easy Buyer thing starts is a text. Mm. I must tell you something. <laughs> you know? There were songs done about taxis, Zola Bat. Yeah. Mm. You know? Yeah. So ah, that's a powerful thing. A very, very but it's a business I mean, that. Bugs is shaking there. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's a rough one. I think, yeah. he, I think he, he went into a, to a department. I don't think he was ready for the taxi industry when he went into that portfolio. Mm. I don't think he was. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, he did well with the other ones. Uh, wasn't he? Did sports. He, do sports? he yeah. was in sports. Sports. He was police. Arts and police, culture. Uh, uh, yeah. Sports. Yeah. Sports. He was killing yeah. it. Black Zemele. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Razmataz. <laughs> yeah. He was cool there. I was thinking. I was chatting to my friends this, this past weekend. How powerful do you think the government will be post COVID? Not very. You, you go slate? Mm-mm. I, no. think, I think they're going to be more powerful than ever. Why? How? Because they have data. They have data. <laughs> but there are privacy laws. You know that, right? Yes, yeah. they do have our... Not data like uh, Vodacom 1 gig, no. Mm-hmm. As in like information about us. But you can only use it to a certain degree. And there are laws that govern against using that. Okay, which... Yeah, but they can use it to Which data advantage. are you talking about? I'm like, talking about like... Um, if you want to do something right now, if, you'd like, if you're a taxi owner and yeah. you want to apply for the relief fund... Now they have to see your books. Of course. You know, where normally they didn't even know who was running taxis, who's got so many taxis or whatever. Mm-hmm. Now they have that data. If you're unemployed, you have to sub- apply for that 350 thing. Mm. Now oh. they have that data. If you're private sector, some, some private sectors, they cook their books. But if you're applying for a relief fund, now you have to supply your documents yeah. and everything. Mm. And when they have that, fuck, do you know how much power that is? Because data is knowledge. Are they going to mm. do Can I keep among those guys? And that's how Donald Trump won his election. I was election. about to say that. Oh. So now they'll know exactly where to go to target people that are unemployed to push a certain narrative, mm. to push a certain message. Because all the data is there. You're right. But aren't we woke enough? Yeah, the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> Minus who here? Because there's four of us. <laughs> Tabang, you're out of this. Uh, you are the weakest link. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> On that front, I agree. Ghana, what's the name of the company that... Uh, Cambridge. Cambridge An- Analytica. Analytica. Yes. Analytica. Mm. Uh Because I was going to say, when you actually mentioned that, I was going like, hmm, do you think that call to Facebook has been made yet? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, and, 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 and I agree with what he says. Um. Uh, 
Wow, you guys have very meaningful conversations. I'm proud. Uh, you and your friends. That's good. You've got good friends. Yeah. This guy. You know? <laughs> Because you were right, dude. Because they were not celebrity friends, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> then did you think you're the only brightest friend he has? <laughs> you're surprised. Look. Wow. <laughs> He's shocked. Man. No, I'm not shocked. <laughs> like, it was I DJ Sabi. <laughs> <laughs> Sipo says, <laughs> "Oh, <laughs> my growy <girl> voice! <laughs> it's, 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 it's. He's right. Like access to information is like the most. It's, it's, it's the yeah, biggest. Yeah, it actually got me own. thinking. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you can sway people. Because you can, like, they can, like, like you said, they can target people. And elections are coming next year. Yeah. Mm. They know exactly what to do." They have so much power right now. It's crazy. But when you talk about aren't we woke enough with the social media and everything, do you think that... Guys, you got to understand, social media is like 1%. It's one, it's one million people. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's why we said, and yes, we might have made... That's noise. like giving a fuck what's happening in Orania. <laughs> 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 you know, I think people who are on Twitter can't fill the whole of Gauteng as a province <laughs> type of thing. You're actually right. So it's it's. I think we, we. That's why the other day I was saying, if Black Twitter goes on a rant about us, that's fine. Yeah. Because it's only one million people. And that's why rants okay. only last for a day. Yes. Yes. That just a trend shows is a that trend is a trend yeah. now, and then it ends. Except if you're Kanyimba when you're on podcast and show, yeah, then it goes over. You know what I realized when I did the Kanyimba interview, and I noticed with a lot of celebrities, most of them, whenever I asked them, "So, do you have any celebrity friends?" They were like, "No, I don't have any friends in the industry," which got me thinking, "Who are these people friends <laughs> with?" <laughs> Normal people. Everyone is denying their yeah. friends. <laughs> Everyone is like, "No, I don't have any industry friends." Wow. I don't know if it's like a cool thing to say or like they actually don't because the industry is that fake. Mm. I think at if you if you if you if you ask maybe on some uh, who do you hang out with in the industry, it's a different approach just to say because the word friend is, is, is to some people means a lot. Mm. It means more than hey girl. It's Pearl and Cynthia vibes. Yes, Pearl too. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So that's like I think when you ask about who you hang out with, you'll get a different answer from who are your celebrity friends. I think I'd get the same answer. Same answer, I think so <laughs> <Yeah>. too. <laughs> These people don't hang out with each yeah. other, bro. <laughs> or no one wants to claim another. <laughs> it's like, hell deny, no. Deny, <laughs> deny, 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 deny. I'm sure they'll be hanging out. It's like, we're not even taking pictures together. Please. Yeah. I, don't want, I don't want anyone knowing that we're associated. Yeah. I think that's how it, people but, are like but, out there. But it happens. Yeah. But it's fake. Like, do, you, do you have any industry friends? Which in PR I've got a lot of industry <laughs> friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, PR. Which industry? Your industry. It's PR. PR. Yes. Tato Mueng, she's in the industry. But I am not in the industry. I, I think I am not in. Well, the now you in the you on the biggest podcast in the country. How oh, it's oh, an yeah. industry. <laughs> <laughs> but are we friends with other podcasts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, name our name our friends. I mean. Name them. <laughs> The Doja, the Doja. Ah, we fuck with the Doja. Yeah, I know they're cool people. When was the last time you spoke with them? Uh, last week, because they bought a case oh. of Granger. Nice. Oh, of Granger. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, uh, podcast. Would, would you be calling them to like next week just to say, "Hey, I was checking up on you." <laughs> they called because they wanted some. <laughs> you are right. That's why I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You are are you right. gonna be calling next week? Maybe mm. like, hey, yo. No, we hang out. We're not friends. We hang out. <laughs> <laughs> we hang out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, the dojo guys are cool. Um, who else? On the podcast space. Uh, yeah. But in terms of the entertainment industry slash the sporting fraternity and journalists and whatever, I, I, I speak to a lot of Oaks. Super Journal, Mazola Molefe, Tato Moeng, Tsidisi Muhono, Kuliso Nemarimela, Kotosillo. Dropping names. Mm. 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 But these are people that I was friends with when Mine we were to, Yes. Mini. Shela. Oh. oh. Shela. Hey. Shela. No, 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 no. <laughs> Mrs. Jones? No, no, no. no. <laughs> my, 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 my allegiances don't run that deep. Yeah. Uh, we cool. We cool. We, we cool. hang out. Mm. We, we, we hang out. We cool. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Uh, ankle tap. Ankle tap, I would like to believe as a friend. Oh, okay. We hang out. And we, we chill. We're friends. We're from the same hood. We call each other there, hey, Malome, what's up, type of thing. Nice. Like you hang out with Sebi. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. only when I need him to do the show. <laughs> <laughs> when you're on leave. <laughs> when he grants your leave. <laughs> when? Uh? Ah, no. Bobster's my nigga. Mm-hmm. Who do you hang out with? I know your friends. No, 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 no. Bobster is your friend. Okay. Yeah. Oh, who do, I hang out who with? do you hang out the with? The industry. <laughs> Not not when you're calling them for an interview. <laughs> Look at my resume. Look at my resume. Uh, oh yeah, did you guys see Twitter now has voice notes? Yo. Yes. There's voice notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Twitter now has voice notes. But they I even allowed d- me to. The, yeah, I'm not in the pristine list of... How do you get it activated, Vel? I think you update it. I think you get selected. Mm. Like it's, I think it's being rolled out little by little. Not everybody has it. Some so people is it maybe on follow how many followers you have? I don't think so. Oh. I, I, I think it's an update. It's a, no, no, no. I checked my updates since I saw it. And on either one of my two phones, I don't have that update. Yeah. Mm. But you in shit now. Black Twitter has a voice now. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine they send you a voice note. Foot sack. <laughs> I send one Hashtag back. foot sack. Now. Eh. <laughs> there's Black wow. Twitter. There's woke Twitter. There's just us. Uh, what else do you want to talk about? I want to oh, talk yeah. about... Yeah. Casper's going to be a dad. Is that true? Yeah. You're going to be an uncle. <sighs> For take. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. Is this his first kid? I don't know. Hmm. Is it his first kid, Gosling? I think so. Is it his first, Tabang? Yeah, I think so. That's his first kid. I heard someone tell me he's got another kid, man. But that's not to take away from the congratulations. Yeah, yeah congratulations yeah. to him. Big, big shout out to him. So, so next year you'll be celebrating Father's Day. Who him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, officially, if he's still ha- privately <laughs> now. <laughs> yes, 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 he's officially celebrating Father's Day next yeah. year. Yeah, so big ups to Cares. We've got an, we've got a young lion coming. Yeah. Young Mufa. Can we, uh, Simba. Is he going to be Simba? Mm, okay. That kid is so lucky. Fuck. Why? You must see Casper's house. Ooh. You must see Casper's house? Yeah. Okay. Because we hang out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, shout out to Casper. Casper, tick. <laughs> oh, his house is beautiful, man. Is it? I think it's the dopest house I've seen from a celebrity. Oh. Yeah, that nice. house is amazing. Because oh. I'm into houses like a fucking... Is it, like yeah. ...a weird dream, you know? Oh, okay. We hang out with Euphonic a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Euphonic tick. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just thinking, that kid's going to be raised in so much money, you know? Yeah, that would be nice. That's mm. cool. That's yeah. very dope. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, and Kez is a very money-savvy, money-smart individual. So, yeah, that kid is... When are, when are you rocking, my man? Rocking what? The daisies. <laughs> <laughs> when are you popping one out? When, when, the, when the right time comes. Mm. Remember, Len said he wants to be married first. And lingerie. And the book must come out yet. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot and of remember, Len also said he wants to be a comedian. So plus, he needs, still needs to be no, a comedian. No, you the one who said you wanted to no, be a No, no, you wanted to be a comedian. Oh, okay. Yeah. All those things. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not in a rush. But you'd be a good dad, eh? Have you yeah. seen how, how oh, good no. he is with kids? Yeah. Mm. Kids love yeah, him. Yeah, but cause that's because I know Khura, after I'm done with them, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking them home with me. <laughs> so that's why. It's like, okay, I'm going to leave you here with your mama and your daddy. I'm going home. Uh, before I see what else I want to talk about, what did you guys want to talk about? Am I missing out anything? Um, it was a very slow week. Eh? said big ups to Cares. Yeah. Uh, taxi strike had us by the nerds. Yeah. And oh, Is it still going to continue, by the way? Oh. Uh, we don't know. When was the last time you took a taxi? Yo. I can't remember. Just Here was when I had the fish and chips. Remember, I told yes, the story. Yes, when they almost clapped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jelly fish and chips, Simotex. <laughs> <laughs> and he's sitting in front. <laughs> and you have to count to, money. <laughs> and when they tell him to stop, he's like, sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. So he, Fuck, all, those, all those ticks, like, you're speaking English, you're eating fish and chips, and you're not counting the money. <laughs> You'll get into shit, bro. Yo. You will get into shit. It was a text um, ride from hell. <laughs> oh, yeah. What I wanted to talk about. You heard, Jorge, uh, they want to ban Leon Schuster's movies. Oh. Ooh. Really? Why? What happened? Blackface. Mm. There's something Kanye said after the interview. Yeah. Remember when we were I remember. Her? But it's her story to tell. Yeah. yeah. I think she'll, she'll speak on that. It's that's I, why I think she did a movie with him recently. Yeah. It's it's I think it's on the blackface thing because he's always dressing up to be 
a one or other black person. Mm. But I feel he does a lot of other races, though. And it's just the way of his portrayal of black people is seen as being bigotry. Mm. You know, it's weird. When I was young, I loved that shit. Yeah. Zulu on my stoop. Mm. Couldn't stop laughing. Did you know any better? No. Okay. Now that I'm old, I'm like, hey, shit. Now that you're older, now that you're woke. <laughs> <laughs> you're asleep, he's to that. <laughs> you are sleepy. Which one is it? Woke or young? Or, or, or old? Old. I can already see him coming from a mile away. I'm like, oh, okay, I see what you're doing. Okay, I'd like to put in this this part of it, right? For then, it being funny, okay, fine. Laughing at it. It being cancelled now, it's fine. It ends there. Right, but are we now gonna get angry from something that was done 20 years back? Yes, all over again. Yeah, the same way when we've we already laughed at it, the same way that we were angry in 1956, 1932, 1971, 76, 75. Yes, I'm not talking in relation to the Leon Schuster thing. The Leon Schuster thing is no, that's what I'm talking about. The Leon Schuster thing, because that's what I'm trying to because it was. Comedy, obviously, making it just it was like an escape of all the issues that were going on. Yes, it was apartheid. There were still because some, some of those movies actually were done literally before 1994. So, what I'm trying to get to is that are we going to get angry like it was never funny? The funny, the funny to it is, is it funny? If at its core, if you look at it, I mean, if I watch Sweet and Short now, there are moments in Sweet and Short that are very funny, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I will still laugh at them today. Ne? And I look at Leon's work from whenever. Like even Zulu on my stoop. Like I can, if I think of all these movies, it's almost like everyone was equal. Black was made fun of, white was, was made, made fun of, Indian was made fun of. So it was just like, just laughter of no one was taking anybody serious. He preys on stereotypes. So, exactly. is, is it... Is it is, Today, wha- it wouldn't work. Definitely. So, was it him doing the black face or the Indian face or the Chinese face or the white face and making fun of it? Or is it a case of, okay, Leon is showing us how other races relate to other races. Because mm-hmm. if he dresses, especially when he does uh, the skits in like Fenter's Dop, dressing up as an Indian cop. Okay, yeah. Right? And the white farmers would come there and he would put up a, a, a toll gate in the middle yeah. of the Khron part. They'd be like, <laughs> yeah, you must pay before you pass here. Mm. Ne? It's the reaction of those farmers to him as an Indian person was different from was different too when he says, it's Leon, it's just a joke, it's a camera, it's a camera. Mm. <clears throat> was that not showing, like, yo, actually this is what's happening in your country. Yes, you can laugh at it, but like truly this is what's happening. Yeah. Did we ever think of it that way? Or we were laughing and now that we're getting angry, we're getting angry that he portrayed black people in a certain way. But at its onset or when we became woke, we never saw it as maybe this guy was actually showing us how we relate with each other. And we kind of missed that point. And making profit. Well, at it. Well, oh, okay. Profit is profit. Mm. He's a movie maker. In fact, funny enough, most of the profit that was made from a lot of movies that he made was not profit to him. It was profit to Anand Sin, who owns Vision... What? Oh, yeah. And uh, vision, some video, video Vision. Video Vision. Mm. The production house that did most of his movies. Mm. It was an Indian guy. Indian the guy, guy who did yeah. Long Walk to Freedom. Oh, okay. good. So... That's, yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, w- w- what's the footing here? Type of thing. Like it's yeah. that's the thing. You are woke now. Yes, that's cool. No, for me it's very hard to comment on this because I know the back end of what's going on. Yeah. Story time. <laughs> <laughs> with what exactly? Look, first hand okay, experience. What I know now, obviously, it makes you question all of this that you've seen in the past. Mm. Yeah. So it's only things that we just need to allow to unfold. We, it's like, okay, let Look, us allow. In terms of what happens, like him as a person, I don't know him. Mm-hmm. I've never had interactions never hanged with, out him. with him. Mm-hmm. We don't hang. We, like we are on complete sides of the, of the things. Like okay. th- I don't even think I've actually seen him in person, mm. right? But with the work that he's done and me looking at it now from an outsider's perspective, that's the evaluation that I can give. You've Those who have worked with black. him firsthand mm. probably have a different perspective of him. Mm. Hence, yes. story type. Yeah. 
And you, Ghost Lady, what did you want to talk about? What did I want to talk about? Mm. Did you have anything? Mm-mm. I saw uh, um, uh, there was a pastor uh, who was found, he was caught cheating with like 10 married women at his church. Wow. Are you surprised? <laughs> He's a fucking pastor. Hey, uh, so These things happen. Oh, is this a norm? Yeah. Not that it's a norm, but uh, you know, those shady stories do happen out there. Wow. Pastors are rocking, G. Hey, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Although I wouldn't want to associate myself with the church that does that. So, yeah. Yeah. Because I remember with my ex, we, 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 we had broken up. Why does this feel like deja vu? Hmm. Have I told this story? Yes. Before? This feels like deja vu. Okay, well, to all the seven oh, the th- new ones. Yeah, yeah the, the new 7, ones. Yeah, the 7,000. You know they're not going to go back. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we broke up, me and, me and this girl. Mm-hmm. And then when we broke up, she got with the pastor. And then we got back together again. So I was like, you know, you know what? I want to marry you. I want, like, I'm going in. You were going to marry her? Yeah. Oh, okay. So she's like, oh, you must talk to my parents. I got a shop, no problem. So I drove to um, Carltonville. <laughs> yeah. Pause. Cal- Wait. To the Val, yes. Did you Not initiate marriage at some point? Yeah, this I is didn't. new news. Uh, the coochie was good. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Explains where this story is going to end. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got deeper, Papa. To say it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mm-hmm. So I drive to the Val, I go to a church because I'm like, you know what, I'm going to show her I love her. I'm in this, you know what I mean? I'm going to show I'm serious. So I get there, I'm fucking shit scared because I have to meet her parents. First time ever. I don't even think she told them about me. So she was singing there and then I saw her mother. At church? At church, yeah. Okay. I went with the Bovias. I was with the Bovias. So I go, I see her mom. I'm like, hey, I just wanted to t- uh, tell you that I want to marry your, your, your daughter. And then the mother was like, all right, cool. If you want to do that, you're going to have to speak to Muruti, Muruti the okay. pastor. All right. So I don't understand what that meant. I'm like, why the fuck must I speak to the pastor? I want to marry your yeah. daughter, daughter. What does the pastor have to do to with do your with daughter? This, yeah. Ah. So we never got back together. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, no. Turns out she got married to the pastor. The pastor that you're supposed to talk to. Yeah. Did you talk to the pastor? No, for what? <laughs> for what? <laughs> <laughs> for blessings, chief. <laughs> Now, so now he blessed her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he would have gotten the blessing. <laughs> so she's married now, got kids with the pastor, and it's a. Give mama Ruti, no. Yeah, give mama Ruti. She could have been Mrs. Podcast. Yeah. Levels, yeah, no? you, know? you know? Podcast, yeah. church. Sure. So pastors are rocking, guys. Do you think she she watches? Nah, 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 nah. nah. You don't think we're so? Too, like? We're too X-rated for her. Oh, oh but does it chill the pastor? Hey, you never know. Yeah. yeah, you never know. You never know. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, is he the one that's doing the rocking? <laughs> Look at this fool here. Yeah. <laughs> at, at your church, do, do you hear stories about that? No, no. Yeah. That's why I'm just like, I try to, uh, you know what, it's, I don't like to associate myself with mess, especially in a space, because already that's like your spirituality. That's a place where you are supposed to be fed and you feel good. It's nourishing to your soul. Now, if there's going to be like shady things, nah, I don't like that. There's so, much, there's so much fuckery in this world, eh? Why don't you ask yeah. me about my church? <laughs> <laughs> How? <laughs> number, number what what Katara? <laughs> Mid rent. <laughs> you tied with a bottle of grandeur <laughs> at the door. <laughs> you are what? But you're right. There is a lot of fuckery that's happening in the world. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you can get someone like and the that, church is not exempt from that or that fuckery. Like basically. the very same person who stands there is like, do you take this woman to be your wedded? What, what, <laughs> Is looking at her on some <laughs> Like, how does it work? You. No, but literally, how does it work? I like to believe that there are many good pastors out there. I mean, I should, I there are many good podcasts out there, and there's shit podcasts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the ones like, you're not friendly with. <laughs> But no, literally tell me this. How does it work? Listen, somebody like <laughs> that's funny. The, the the word of God is there. Uh, you may kiss the bride. It's like mm, enjoy. Because I'm at the end coming. of the day, behind you being a pastor, you're still a human being, and you are just. And then I watched. Marwell just talk. <laughs> that's the thing. So there's some people who are messy like that. Just like there are some pastors. Pastors busy. really are the new DJs. <laughs> <laughs> Soccer players, pastors, <laughs> DJs. <laughs> 
rappers. <laughs> That's why people were so. F- That's why people were so hell bent on churches going bad. So stop us in the show. Now it makes sense. Yeah, that's why they even call it it's just uh, at least 15 years. So hey, yeah, yeah, so like it's fine. It's fine. You know, I, 50 I, I, ladies. I had Welcome this Sunday. To hunting for an hour. It's okay. <laughs> that's why churches are popping up at every tree on the highway. Yeah, very uh, ch- no churches. Ah, wow. Even if, if you go like central, like you know, in towns. Maybe we should start a church. We already have 40,000 subscribers. This is a church, bro. Hmm. Who's the pastor? <laughs> 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 Pasta T. Pasta T. <laughs> Just so you know, Tabak is the only one who's rocked a subscriber from the crew, so that's yeah. why he's the pastor. Yeah. <laughs> Subscribers on the comments on some. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but we're not going to go in there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go there one day. And then I watched, uh, finally watched, because you guys were telling me I must watch Jeffrey Epstein on, on Netflix. Oh, yeah. yeah, did you? Disgusting. Yeah. Horrible. Like, this Money. world is fucked up. Eh? Yeah. Sometimes I wish I didn't know these things, man. Because the more and more you know these things, the more you just realize the world is fucked. But you end up living under a tree. I'm mean, sorry, not a tree. That's rather, a church. Rather, a rather. Ch- <laughs> <laughs> rather. Dressed <Rest> in white. <laughs> Spinning. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss, bro. It is for you to be wise. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. That was disgusting, man. But it also shows you. I don't know how you do that and sleep at night. Exactly. That's my thing as well. And why would. And I always say, why do people. If you're doing something to someone, don't you think this person. They may be quiet today, but don't you think they're going to talk tomorrow? Please explain for those 7,000 new people who don't know what uh, the Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein, Epstein Netflix is about. It's uh, it's a. It's a it's, it's an exposure. Let me call it an exposure. Uh, documenting the happenings of one Jeffrey Epstein, who was a child molester mm. for many, many, many years. And he became a billionaire out of nowhere. And by virtue of having money, he was able to have a lot of protection. Mm. And with his money, he was preying on underage girls mm. who Real. lived in the poorer side of where he stayed. So it's kind of like Alex, Alex Sentin type yeah. of thing. Yeah. So he would, go, he would get girls from Alex, Alex mm. and molest them in Sentin. Sentin. Mm. And those that... Oh, he also owned an island whereby if you were old enough and you were not his type, what he did was he kind of like raped you. Not kind of like raped you. He actually did rape because a number of girls came out yeah. saying he raped them. Mm. And he also used girls that he molested to get them to recruit their friends. friends so yeah. he was sort of like a pyramid. He had a pyramid mm, scheme. Yeah. But what's even more fucked up about it he is... He will say to girls, come with a friend. Tomorrow now, come with a yes. friend. And that friend now will have to bring a friend. Brings a friend. Brings a friend. Yes. And, oh. and his right-hand man slash mm. man was mm. a woman. Yeah. Mm. So this person helped perpetuate and helped all drive of all of this. He was friends with very powerful people. Yep. The Bill Clintons, the Donald, Donald Trumps. Trumps, the Woody Allens, mm. and the Prince... Is it Andrew? Prince Andrew. I think it's Prince yes, Andrew. Yeah, yeah Prince it's Prince Andrew. Andrew. Uh, yeah. And he, he, in as much as he was... And they're quiet now. Yeah, in as much as he was... Just like when we had 100 views, now they're quiet. Mm. Mm. In as much as he was molesting these girls, I think he was pimping some of them to yeah. some of his friends. Yes. And using a blackmail because he had cameras all over the house. Yeah. yeah. And that's why he was able to get away with, with shit. Yeah. Mm. And the FBI Even politicians, looked like... Yeah, yeah. They were also the FBI looked like they were protecting him as well. Mm. There was one, I think the Prime Minister, there was one who said, you're as old as my daughter. That's Prince Andrew. Yo, man. Oh, man. With the with the girl that took a picture with him, I think they were like in a in a in a kitchen of in an the apartment. House, yeah. over My thing house. is, we all know this shit happens in the underworld, yeah. you know, where Even these, here in South yeah, Africa. these powerful people get slay queens and whatever, and they fuck them wherever in Bryanston, whatever. But not kids, bro. Like twelve year olds, that's sick. I mean, at least if you're eighteen, twenty, you have age of consent. Yeah, I, I you know, it doesn't make it right. Yeah, but I think I think because he, I, I, we, we're not even sure if he died. Or if his death was somehow fake, we don't know. Yeah. But I just feel the way he went out, he went out scot free. Yeah. Yeah. Because he dictated so how unfair. he went out. Mm. Yeah. So unfair. And mm. now all those people, and he was so smart in that he moved his money just before he died. So now 
whoever it is as some sort of compensation to whoever the victim or to the victims. Yeah. That's even that's not even going to happen because his whole estate was moved to his brother. Yeah. Because you, you know, know the want victims the victim are not going to get, get yeah. nothing. nothing. To show he didn't feel any remorse. Dude, we're talking about 11 years, 12 years. Do you even have your period at that age? Well, some, it's some. Jeez. It depends. Some people With are people. sick. That, that is sick. Actually, the world but is generally, sick. that's the age, yeah. Like 11, 12, 13, that's the time. As someone who, who's got a child, that is like, yo, I don't know, man. It's disgusting. It's disgusting, bro. And that's it just goes back to the How do you get a hard on from a 12-year-old, That's why I say he got, he, he, he got, he got out scot-free. That's free. why you've got child pornography out there. And out there, people, out, there are people he, who are addicted to that. He got out scot-free, yo. Like, like he, he dictated how I'm going out. He's like, okay, this is how I'm going out. If he is out for that man, I mean, the man who's got an island, he could have gone to a country where nobody knows he exists. We don't know. Because he managed to move his money two days before he died. Hmm. Yeah, but these people with power, these billionaires, these pastors, <laughs> people, people with power. Do dude. you think sometimes there's some sort of a sacrifice that you have to make so that you keep your money? Like killing people or doing heinous, disgusting acts? Because I'm not saying people without money or the middle, the middle, I almost said the middle age, the middle class, the middle class don't do sick things. Mm. But there's a lot of things that are sick that are done by rich people. Yeah. Is it because you've got money and you think you can get away with stuff? Or is it because you've got so much money, you don't know what to do with it? I think it's because like, you know, there's a, like there's a circle right now. You're in the circle, you're rich. And therefore in order to, for us to know that you are, uh, really part of the circle and you are loyal to us therefore we need to do th- even things that are crazy yeah it's just people abusing your, power bro yeah they're abusing power true it's just it is but just like that pastor he knows like when you're a pastor you got so much power in that congregation yeah, yeah. hence they make people eat snakes Eggs. they spray them mm. with doom and 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 again at a point of gullibility uh, gullibility comes comes with desperation and maybe not knowing. And in terms of churches, Ra- rappers how many and, and, and groupies. Yes. Yeah. And let me not just say rappers, like entertainment and groupies. Yeah. Yes. That just... includes soccer as well. Ne? <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> I just check it. Just check it. But not podcasts. Yeah. We don't have groupies. But it's 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 again somebody. Only Tavang has groupies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes yes, somebody. Doc. <laughs> <laughs> For days. <laughs> oh, this is why you came back, ne? <laughs> He was running low. Let me go refill. Type of thing. But like, yeah, it's it's it's. Sometimes people celebrate you and you take advantage. Uh, like as pastors, those that do these heinous things because people are desperate mm. because you you are so, sort of like. A, a link to them, to to God, to spirituality, mm. to whatever. You take you advantage are the link of to them. Their yes. Just you, like how your Jeffrey Epstein states the same thing. Afterwards, he went for the poor yeah. and he offered the money yeah. because you don't have money and those kind of things. You're it's, getting $200 for just massaging a naked guy. Mm. You know? As much as you feel what bad... What did a 12 year old know about a fucking massage? Dude. Like, honestly. And that 12 year old is God for life now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. But that's hey. the thing. Don't you know that today you might you be with this 12-year-old? Don't you think this 12-year-old is going to grow up 10 years later and say, yo, what you did But that's what, what, that's what I love wrong. about this generation. You've Everything that happens in the dark is coming, coming to light. Coming out. That's Everything. the thing. Yeah. Oh, you can't hide now. You can't. You can't. Yeah, you can't. You can, you can, you can for, a, for a period of time. But yeah, at some but point, catch you come up out. With you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And this generation, everything's coming out. Everything Fuck is coming no. out. We're in a new period be- now. Because... Yeah. My 2000s are not the generation of, ah, shit happens. Yeah. No, I just think it's technology. I mean, before... Yeah, the forefront of it. No, but before, like, Black Lives Matter, black people had been getting killed, but there was no one taking a video. Sure, Trevor. Yeah. Eh? Sure, Trevor. No. (laughs) Is that what he said? He said the only difference between apartheid South Africa and what's happening now is that there were no smartphones in apartheid South Mm. Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Well, great minds think alike, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Trevor Noah, tick. That's why you took over his show, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sat on the chair. Yeah. And knowledge was imparted <laughs> onto the great Makai. <laughs> okay. As so, yeah. The daily show is coming. Mm. Yeah. The daily podcast. Yeah, the See, daily podcast. These things go yeah. Yeah. in yeah. parallel, oh. you know. Uh-uh. Then you want what Michelle Obama to be calling me and telling me shit. <laughs> You can't handle that. <laughs> nah, nah. 
<laughs> but now you'll be forced to listen yeah. Yeah, when Oprah talks. Yeah, I'm fine with the B list, C list celebs we have here. Go, go South Africa. <laughs> I can handle go them. Saudi. <laughs> Saura. <laughs> Yo, did you watch eight? Yes. Oh, fuck. Oh. Brilliant. 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 It was so weird. It was so weird as I, I was watching it. I love the first scene, it. man. Yeah, yeah. That first scene is... Oh, the opening scene. Yeah, oh, that first scene is life for me. But when, you know when they were speaking Ven and they wrote it in Zulu? In Zulu, that was my... Like, like is this like, an episode of podcast? Like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you should have said, no, 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 the people who are calling you, why don't you call eight? Eight, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. But you know what's, what I also found weird? Like, that's probably post-production things and it was like, Things that sort of like slip through the cracks, type thing. Like, it, how does it, it, it was? There was no Zulu in that movie. As exactly. Far, there was I, a Kosa. Those are Kosa and Venda. Yeah. Kosa and, and Venda. One Venda person. Mm. Yes. I bet it was dope. In, in, in Cape Town. And yeah. make sure you check out the, the interview I did with uh, Gary and Chamalo. Chamalo. Mm. Yeah. Did you, did you watch it? Uh, yes, I did. I did watch. Yeah. Even did the, watch. the interview you did. Oh, are you watching podcast interviews now? Oh. Okay, I didn't watch. I was listening because I'm driving now, I guess. <laughs> Oh, it's I'm, the same I'm thing. driving now. Oh, so you downloaded the the, the actual yes. podcast? Oh. Do you know a lot of people don't know that the podcast goes on pot on on, on iTunes, iTunes, Google, Google Play? Oh. Google like Play we do podcast. literally have a podcast, guys. <laughs> 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 We're not just saying it. It's for real. It's not just fancy. <laughs> like Spotify, podcast. we are there. Check Spotify, us out. Spotify, we are there. Yes. When you're at work in the work Wi-Fi, download, put it in your car, mm. listen while you're driving. So I normally Kim Kardashian's joining us. You know? Us, yeah. In the podcast... Uh, in the podcast industry. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. I thought you said she was coming to the show. No, 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 no. no. More than five million was now in you? one day. <laughs> <laughs> there the whole interview will be. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. But you ask first. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, ask yeah, first. Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Just yeah. making sure. Yes. Okay. Sh- sure, Donald Trump. <laughs> no grabbing. That disgusting man. Please don't call me that. Oh, fuck, man. That no. guy. Because so, there were utterances that so he made on that thing. That, mm. like, uh, yeah, Jeffrey likes them young, like I do. Like I do, yeah. How come he's not in shit, bro? But his day is coming, guys. Yeah. Yeah. No, his day is coming. He's getting away with too oh, much. Too shit. much. You know, I, I, I had so much pleasure this weekend when, was he in Ohio? I don't know which state he was oh, in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he organized a rally, <laughs> expecting like a million people, mm-hmm. and maybe like five, ten thousand people showed up. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. So it shows he's being exposed for the fucking fraud he is. Okay. I hate that guy. Yeah. I don't like Donald. I've never heard you say you hate anyone, so yo, that's deep. That's yeah, deep. Yeah, no, like he's, no, like he's, yo. Ha, 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 ha. All right, this has been Podcast and Chill. here. Ghost Lady, what do you want to say? Thank you very much, guys. As the sun is going down. Yeah, as it gets darker, like. Mm. Uh, we can usual. still we can still do the donation. Road to 100K, right? We're not yeah, done yeah, there. Yeah, we yeah, still no. live there. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. cool. Uh, donate the donate button is somewhere on the description the link somewhere yeah. yes and big shout out to everybody that's donated so far man now what are we sitting on um it's called the Kwambele people yeah. okay cool then they'll give us the fig- figures and then uh don't forget uh order your bottle of grandeur oh yeah uh, oh, yes. info at grandeur.com or you the new batch is out eh Oh. I got it today, yeah. Oh, oh that's nice. Yeah. yeah, got the new batch. That's right. dope. Yeah. Shop oh, and soon. There's, there's a couple of people that we owe signed bottles because they got they were delivered bottles that were not signed, and now I'm getting called and getting cucked on because people were looking for signed bottles and they didn't get signed bottles. All right, if your bottle wasn't signed, let us know. We'll make a plan. We're gonna go sign an empty bottle. You're gonna sign an empty bottle at your house. We'll make a plan. Okay. Cool. Let me okay. think about it. Yes. And then with uh, my smart friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cool. Minus Len. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, there's a difference between <laughs> there's a difference between the brides of a Corolla uh-huh. from 1995 huh. and the brides of a Mercedes Benz G63 Xenon lights. Those brides are not the same. So hey. why, why would you compare yourself to a Corolla? <laughs> Co- Corona. Corolla. Because that's how bright his <laughs> friends are. <laughs> Corolla. No, I said, why would you? Why would you, <laughs> you know, it's. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just talking shit. But yeah. Nice. Actually, you speak about a G Class. When did it become such a Toyota Venture Vele? Like, you see those things everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Toyota Venture now. Eh? Like, no, literally. Oh, like, wow. they're everywhere. It's the relief funds. <laughs> Oh, and Government. the VBS people got arrested. Well, some of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 You here, so I'm relieved. <laughs> <laughs> Drop that fucking thing of yours. <laughs>
<laughs> hey, I was breathing through the wound for the longest time. Eh? Hey, we yeah. are here, man. This has been podcast and chilled. Uh, thank you so much to all our new subscribers, man. Welcome to the family. Yes, and uh, don't forget follow us on all our social media platforms: Twitter, Facebook. Uh, yeah, we this platform here. And we want to also well. take our uh, the Instagram podcast page yeah. yes. to 10k. Oh, is it? So we we let's where are we sitting push. now? Where are we sitting? Because you oh, had we're on two point, we were on two point five, two point six, two point seven there. Oh, okay. Yeah? Two point oh, seven. No. We'll get there. We'll get so, there. So yeah. So it's road to fifty k. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm gonna lose my mind on that one. Road to fifty k. Can you hear fifty thousand? Yes. Then half half a half a half a half century. Half. Eh? Yeah. Mm. Century. No, half. fifty is half a century. Yes. Fifty thousand is not half a century. Okay, as you may, Mister G sixty three bright lights. Oh, <laughs> coming in with your Corolla logic. <laughs> <laughs> we were just thinking hundred. You just no. you had to put the thousand. Uh, yes, just on a hundred. Because we need fifty k was when we started. <laughs> I mean, it, so I mean sorry, not 50, sorry, not 50 that was half the century. 50 was when we started episode one. <laughs> then it was his Corolla friends, my G63 friends. So when you had, te- when you had 10 friends, you had a decade. Eh? <laughs> we had a decade and uh, then uh, DJ Zintle came yeah. and then took us to yo, stratospheres, bro. We went to like, yo, we went deep. I think that the Kanyimba will be the biggest one this year. Mm. I don't think anyone can top that one. No. There's only a select few. Bonang, Sumizi, Boiti. Boiti. No, I don't even think Boiti can take it there. Yeah. I don't even think... Those I, I think Samizi can man. try, but I don't think he will get there. Samizi? Yeah. No, Samizi can. No, no, Samizi can. can. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Samizi can. Oh, no, Samizi will be fire. Yes, mm. yes. Okay. Mm. I put my money on Kanye as it stands. All right. Yeah. All right, anything am I missing, guys? Anything else? Uh... Grandeur order 0814 yeah. 740 WhatsApp, don't call. Um, don't forget to donate. And do remember to like the videos. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your colleagues yeah. at work. Road to 50K. Road to 50K. Half we're going to do it. Yeah. And then we'll probably have a Zoom party or something like that. Oh, yeah. We pro- probably would have had a 40,000 party. Ne? Yeah, yes. we would have had a I party. Was, we, we celebrate the small victory. Yes. Yeah. 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 And Tabang was going to go home with someone. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, maybe stock. as soon as we open, we must do another speed dating for the sake of his bag. You know, <laughs> I'm sure bag, he's guys. yearning. He's Don't you bag. have a sunboard? <laughs> okay, guys, he just said it hasn't have a sunboard. It's been so, dry. <laughs> hey, stocks pay Lee, le. I we love you guys, man. Out of here, boom. Yeah. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.